Psalms 119.8 I will keep thy statutes, or forsake me not utterly. Have you ever made decisions before God? As we study the Bible, we see many covenants between God and man. But have personal decisions been told to God based on God's command? Understanding the scriptures? So, it is a decision that I will obey the word of God. Such a decision can only be made by relying on God's grace. The reason is that it cannot be carried out by one's own ability, by natural force. He then sings to God, don't leave me. We see the forsaken in many places in the Bible. Hagar turns and weeps after putting her son in the shade of a bush so that she will not see her son's death. Joseph's brothers sell him. Moses' parents put him in a reed ark in the Nile. Jephthah was accused of being the son of a harlot and thrown away by his relatives. David says, My father and mother have forsaken me. The Bible teaches that God has gathered many such forsaken people and made their lives great. The Bible reveals a good God who is willing to take and hold even when all the world forsakes. If God forsakes, no matter who there is in the world to receive, it is all for naught. When God in his anger forgot the people of Israel, disease, famine, etc. took hold. Harassed by the surrounding people, they were scattered to many parts of the world as exiles and slaves. Even worse is what happens when God forsakes eternally. A hell of eternal torment awaits such with unquenchable fire and undying worm. But God will never forsake those who keep his laws. Jesus will take them into his Father's kingdom, which has been prepared since the foundation of the world. Let this hope reign over us too. May God bless you.